Show at Buckingham Palace, yeah. Are you going to see the Queen? I'd like to see the gift for her. Oh, very kind, Danny. You're very, you're very kind. Make sure you behave yourself. Make sure, we'll make sure we do. At least we've got something to vote. Yeah, in case it rains. Um, I was going to no go, They didn't let us in. I am surprised. Do you like my T-shirt? I think it's splendid. It was. It was really... It's, it's what's coming off. It's one of the ones. Thank you. Very nice indeed. Thank you. Sir, Are you going to see the Queen? Can we give this to the Queen, please? Would you like to give A one to the Queen from, from Charlie? <laughs> no? Oh, here's the Lord Mayor. Sir, you look like a very important person. You look important. Can you give this to the Queen for me? No? Thank you. Tell her it's from Charlie and Danny. <laughs> yeah, you. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We got our van full here. Look. There you go, you see. Yes, go on, go on, of course. Any system of class or any system of differentiating people is nothing but a, an assault on the soul, uh, a desire to separate man from his fellow man, brother from brother, sister from sister. We are all one, and anything which, say, makes people speak a certain way or send their children to an expensive school or make their children become boxers or go to football matches is only helping to mold them into the shape that society wants them to be molded. In fact, it doesn't matter if I've committed a crime, you're not a police officer, but until you've found that I've done something very naughty, you and I are very equal, are we not? Are we not equal? Even though you're wearing a really nice uniform, I'm just in jeans and a t-shirt. Let's see what kind of, uh, let's see, how many people do we take to take away one guy with a megaphone? Please, call the police. Tell them I am a terrorist and I have swine flu. <laughs> but what is strangest of all is that the government could very happily put a giant battleship here in central London. The British royal family is full of German blood. Oh, sorry, we're not meant to talk about that, are we? No. I have a message for the government. I would like every serving MP in government to enroll at least one of their children into the armed forces. Let them send their children to go and die, not your children, not your brothers, not your sisters. It's, 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 no, it's you're filming. not filming. Oh, no, I film, can't you're film. I'm not, no, sir, sir, no, sir we do this filming. a lot. We actually run a you're channel. You, you know this. What, what, what I'm saying is... You know this. What, it's perfectly legal. I need to film because literally in a few seconds it has to be finished. What I'm saying is, is I, I've asked you, okay? Yeah. I've asked you, because people have complained, and there will be no reason to complain that you're causing distress, because they have said that you have sworn mildly. Now, what does that mean? Right, I don't know, because no, I'll have to go speak to those people to find exactly what that means is. Now, I'm only getting one side of the story. Yeah, you course. say you don't swear. Yeah, but I mean, we did this a lot. What I'm saying is, in order to, to um, prevent any further issues, yeah, yeah, I'd please ask you to my stop what you're doing yeah. now. Yeah. But my understanding is, yeah. um, regardless of whether there's a whole debate.
debate whether this is public or private property. And I'm not going to answer for that with you. Well, it's not, but it's also, not, um, it's not also, what I'm also doing isn't yeah. an arrestable offence if, if I haven't sworn, if I haven't singled anyone out or been offensive no, or racist. As I've just said, as I've just said yeah. the only information you've got to hand yeah. have been spoken right. to these three people who have brought you to make notice because they've complained yeah. that you're, you are saying mild swear words. So here we are at the Tate Modern, a couple of guys up there, hello good people. This is a message especially for you who are listening, everything is officially okay. There is nothing to worry about anymore, you can go home and relax. <laughs> okay, who was the 23rd President of the United States? <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know, Barack Obama. <laughs> Fail. Everyone just relax. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Excuse Time me, what, what, what is art? What is art? One's perception. Are you art? I am definitely art. <laughs> Are you art? Apparently. <laughs> oh, you tell me. <laughs> Are you a terrorist? What do you think? Mm, well, that's a good question. That's a very, yeah. Actually, that's a sort of question terrorists would ask, isn't it? They never answer straight, do they? What about you? Are you a terrorist? I don't know. What do you think? Excuse me, what is art? That probably was, wasn't it? Please. So <laughs> this lady has lost her budgie and yeah. she's come along the canal yeah. asking people if anyone's seen her budgie. Lemmy. Lenny. Yeah. The Lemmy. Lemmy. Yeah. It's better girl. be real. You better not be joking about it. I switch this, you. That's my this number there. Serious. It's I'm serious. paying a hundred pounds for it to come back. A hundred pounds. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. So yeah. if I go to a budgie shop, buy uh, a budgie for twelve quid, that to me. kill it. <laughs> make sure it's the blue one. You just said that to me. Did you? Yeah. Well, good luck with your no, budgie. Now you've got it film. If you see here, yeah, will you let me please? Let me get a close up. Yeah, the number. Ah, and the phone number. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you please see her, would you call me? I say, I say, I say. I hear that the Queen is having a party today, Charlie. Have you heard about that? Oh, what a wonderful day. I'm glad the sun's come out. Wonderful. How do you think we can get ourselves an invitation, do you think, Charlie? <laughs> well, I just think if we speak in a posh enough voice and pretend we're landowners, everything will be okay. He's just said, can I deal with the other one? Oh dear, we are going to be dealt with. Hello, sir. How are you today? What a beautiful palace. I reckon that palace alone could bail out the banks. Look at it. Yes, and it's so nice and comforting to know that thousands of slaves were used to make it. Always good to know because we need more slaves. The good news is, you know what, Charlie, I was having a chat the other day with Liz, and you know, we've really perfected the system because these people around here, you know, the slaves, they don't realize that they are slaves. They probably think they are free beings, don't you lot, yes? Yes, you don't think you're slaves, do you? Not at all. But actually you are slaves because you go out to work every day while we have our lovely parties. And those parties are protected by our lovely policemen, who you pay for. <laughs> You're a very generous lot, you lot, you know. Thank you very, very much. Yes, you're not British citizens, you're British subjects. So act accordingly in front of all you lot her subjects. Now, let me remind you, you are the Queen's subjects. That means you must do what you are told at all times. And I must say, Charlie, they are very, very well behaved on the whole, aren't they, these people? They always do what they are told. Dress up with a suit and a tie and a very nice dress when you see the Queen, because that way she will continue to think that she is very, very important. More important than you, I can assure you lot. And you can tell your friends that you saw the Queen and that will make you just a little bit more important yourself. And that's what you want, isn't it? You want to be more important than other people. Well, you are, you are, you know. You're certainly more important than I am. Yes, thank you for believing in the hierarchy that comes down from the Blue Bloods. I know you're going to get your small moment of hierarchical power by being in the same area as the Queen, but I reckon her farts smell just as bad as mine. Please, I do not want you to say things like that. The Queen does not do things like that. She's a very, very nice lady. And nice ladies do not let wind out from their backside. 
No, the queen has blue blood. She is not like you with red blood. You dirty little red-blooded slaves. Look at these people here, for example. Let us compare them to the queen. He is shabby, shabby lot. Look at him. What does it say here on his top here? Let me see. Atheism, a non-profit organization. Oh. Very naughty, naughty boy. Yes, I think we should take him down to the nearest church and slaughter him. That's what I think. <laughs> So yes, please, put on the military uniform, make your way to your nearest oil-rich country, and invade it. 